Hey guys, it's that time again. It's Survivor cast assessment time. And yeah. this is season, what? 35? 35? That's crazy. Oh my God, we've seen pretty much every one of them. She missed one or I two missed in few, college. a few more than one or two. <laughs> but I'm so glad that this show just keeps getting better and better. It really keeps... Who would think that it would be still so good yeah after all this time they just keep tweaking it and i like them tweaks yeah so the theme this season is heroes, heroes versus hustlers versus healers. healers i did that out of order that's okay <laughs> starts next wednesday september 27th at 8 p.m eastern time mm -hmm. i'm so excited for this we just went through the whole cast today and it's i gotta group. say there's a lot of big personalities here I feel like people are gonna clash. There's a lot of big personalities. There's a good range of older to young. Mm -hmm. Although they don't have, I mean, what is the oldest one? Forty-six. Yeah, I think so. I thought there was somebody. A couple of forty-sixers. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's not too bad. I mean, they've had older than that in the past. Yeah, the heroes tribe is definitely the oldest average. Yeah, old and very very athletic. Well, this is all about how other people see them. I mean, right. it's pretty much like their professions and stuff, but... What are you? Um, I think I would be a hustler. <laughs> what about you? Hustler. Yeah. You guys, leave it in the comments what you would be. All right, so let's Let's start... go tribe by tribe. Start with the heroes. Le Vu. We think that's how you say it. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, so first up, we've got Alan Bell... Oh, sorry. <laughs> Alan Ball. I can't read. He's 32. He's from Detroit, and he is a retired NFL player. He's been grinding it for now years for the NFL on a whole bunch of different teams. <laughs> the hell's that voice? He's retired now. He's, that's, that's kind of his voice because that's how he's, I've been grinding this for nine years. Okay, but anyway, yeah, um, he's athletic, obviously. He is athletic. He retired because of an injury. I don't think it's an issue. He wishes he had some hot sauce and baby wipes. <laughs> I liked his answers. I did too. <laughs> I would want baby wipes too. Yeah. They're pretty essential. I don't yeah. want to wipe some poison ivy on my butt. It seems like he's got a really good head on his shoulders. He was talking about how, you know, playing football, yeah, it was really satisfying mm -hmm. uh, getting that physical competition in there, but he really wants to challenge himself mentally and emotionally, and this is definitely one way to do it. He's a hard worker, and you know, he sounded very intelligent. He's a smart guy, but... His temper might come into issue, especially when he don't get his food. Um, He's hangry. Yeah, there was a mention of <laughs> an attitude coming out with little food, so... Well, maybe what he brings to the table will make up for the hangry. It seems like this whole tribe is just very hardworking, doesn't want to tolerate uh, yeah. laziness. It seems like almost everybody on this tribe, their pet peeve was like, I hate people who don't take responsibility and they're lazy and blah, blah, blah. So I think there's, you know, I want to see people put their money where their mouth is. Right. And this should be like the hardest working tribe ever. Right. I want to see a shelter in two hours. I want to see fire on day one. Everything. Toilets flushing. <laughs> All right. What if somebody actually, like, built Builds a, a toilet? toilet? <laughs> that would be amazing. That would be a first, an amazing first at that. But anyway, Alan is one of my favorites. I like Alan. I like him a lot. lot. All right. Ashley Nolan, 26, from Florida. She is a lifeguard. She gave up her desk job. I mean, how long did she have the desk job to become a lifeguard? She's only 26. Know, a couple years, maybe. Um, but she decided it wasn't for her. She didn't want to, like, sit behind a desk every day. That reminds me excitement. of that, that short. I don't remember if it was, like, Disney or what, but the guy who was going to work, and he was like, I want to go to the beach, and they show his heart oh, and stuff. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? Yeah, it that was from that. last year, yeah. So, yeah, she's like, I'm just going to do this and enjoy my life and be a lifeguard. Do what you love. Yeah. You'll never work a day in your life. Mm -hmm. So she's a bro. She but she can also dress it up and be a classy lady. That's right. <laughs> she likes surfing. Again, she doesn't like complainers. She wants, um, you know, hard workers. She most identifies with Richard Hatch. I'm hoping that's not because <laughs> he's naked all the time. I guess because he won. That's what she said, yeah. Because he won, not because he's naked. there were like 30 something other winners. <laughs> Couldn't you pick somebody better than Richard Hatch? She's stubborn. 
She does not give up and she doesn't settle. Mm -hmm. That I have a problem with people who are like, I never give up. I think the smartest person in the world knows when to Sometimes cut you gotta, and give yeah. Up. Sometimes you have to. Sometimes you just can't complete the task. All right. Cannot complete. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, on a show like this, though, it's good to never give up. She had, <laughs> yeah. a, okay. she had a bad burn in the interview, and I'm like, oh, isn't she a lifeguard? Isn't that, she used to, like, being out in the sun? Like, that made us wonder, like, after all these years. Do they give them sunscreen? Do they give them sunscreen? They must, right? I don't know. If you know, leave it in the comments. I feel like maybe not. I don't know. I don't know. Because don't people, like, cover themselves in mud and stuff sometimes? I don't know if that's, like, a bug thing or, like, a sun thing. Um, I think that's, like, a, oh, man, I got the shit out of me. I need to, like, suck the poison out of this. I don't put know. It, put the mud on. She said she doesn't need a man for anything. Good for you. <laughs> I guess she doesn't want any kids. You don't have to have a man to have kids. You need what men have. But... Yeah, but, or you could adopt. See, I don't like people being excluded. Everybody's got a place. All right. Well, whatever. <laughs> Up next. Ben Drebergen. He's 34. 34. From He's from Idaho. Iowa. <laughs> Idaho. <laughs> I'm sorry. I was trying to copy you and then I messed up. He's from Idaho, yeah. He's, He's a, a former <laughs> Marine. <laughs> you can go. No, go ahead. Okay, he hates whiners. Duh. Yeah. Everybody on this tribe does. He said... His accomplishment Ow. is he's a good dad and a good husband. Yeah. Okay, so then they were like, which survivor do you think you're going to be most like? And he picked three. He's going to be a combination of Russell Hance, Boston Rob, and Joe Anglum. Whoa. That, that is, is a an... tall order. Yeah. <laughs> he has a self-professed great social game. I think he's pumping himself up a little bit here. I think he probably has great survival skills because, like, he was Marine. Yeah, I think that's definitely going to help him out. Um, he says he's, like, a mixture of a teddy bear and a grizzly bear. I feel like under the conditions, he's probably going to turn into a grizzly bear. You think so? I yeah. think so. He said, also said he had one foot in the grave until he met his wife and, like, she's changed his life. His wife's not going to be there. He's on his own, so, I mean, it's going to be, like, pre-wife, you know, I, I think it's going to, he's overestimating himself. I don't know. The I mean, I want to see him do well. there. I don't know about the social game, though. I feel like he could potentially be a little bit abrasive, maybe. Mm. But he was also saying that he likes when everybody gets along and, like, talks about stuff. There's, so we'll see. I mean, you never know. It's so hard to tell from these short interviews there's so many big personalities on this tribe, they're all going to want to be leaders. There's yeah. going to be too many cooks in the kitchen. You know how those hero types are. Yeah, exactly. All right, Chrissy Hoffbeck, 46. Uh, she is an actuary from New Jersey. And if you don't know what an actuary is, they calculate risk for like insurance companies and whatnot. Mm -hmm. She's a computer. Yeah. <laughs> like oh my God, figures. hidden figures. <laughs> She's all about women doing math. That's cool. She's a mom. She hates when people hold her fork the wrong, hold their forks the wrong way and eat like cavemen. Oh, welcome to Survivor. You don't get a freaking fork. <laughs> You're gonna be scooping up rice with like a freaking rock. <laughs> yeah, or like a shrapnel of a coconut. We'll see. All right, she went to Penn State and MIT. She's proud of, you know, getting her degree, her math degrees from mm -hmm. there. She said she's like Thai. And Spencer. Mm, okay. <laughs> She's a type A overachiever. There were a lot of Spencer fans in this cast. If you're a type A personality, I don't think you're like Ty or Spencer. Why? They, I think they're like... Mm, no. Okay. Um, she wants to fight for women. That really bummed me out when she was talking about how people in her profession are still like, you're only here because you're a woman. Yeah. We needed to fill the quota. That, that sucks is garbage yeah all right i don't blame her for being pissed about that i was in the same boat because i was in a man's field mm -hmm. and they were i was the only woman all right so she's great at puzzles she's great at math she probably is a very good visual thinker yeah i definitely think she's gonna be a force in the puzzle competitions 
They'll what? save her to do the yeah. puzzles. Yeah, smart equals sexy, but it doesn't bring you a good social game. I think she might be really good in some areas, like the puzzles, but I don't know how she's going to relate to everybody. I thought she seemed friendly. She seems very... Not very good social. <laughs> I don't know. I think she's going to get along pretty well with people. Mm, we'll see. Okay. All right. John J.P. Hilsbeck, 28, firefighter from L.A. Ooh. He loves surfing. A lot of these people were really good at swimming, too. They had, mm -hmm. like, swimming backgrounds. Yeah, this, this tribe has a lot of good swimmers. We'll yeah. get there. He's outgoing. He never quit. He never gave up. I was definitely getting a vibe from this guy. Like, oh my god. He's going to be like Mr. Morals. Mr. Like, I'm going to um, yeah. be a good guy. Blah, blah, blah. I'm not going to betray anybody. Which is like one of the... Kiss that's one death. of my pet peeves for uh. this kind of show. I don't like... I don't like that. But <laughs> I ended up liking him in the end of his mm -hmm. interview. Because I thought he was saying some good stuff. Did you like that he said his claim to fame was that he had a good group of friends? No, that was weird. <laughs> I like that he loves his dog. Yeah, I like that. I like that he said he was going to give a lot of money to his sister's foundation if he wins. I like that too. He seems very Dudley Do-Right though. And nice guys kind of finish last on this show. We'll see. Although he did say he was most like Jay. <gasps> oh, Jay. Jay was kind of a <laughs> villain turned not so villain mm -hmm. on his season. And I like that. Yeah. I don't think this guy's going to be a villain, though. No, not at all. All right. Could you, you never know. Last <laughs> member of this tribe, Katrina Radke. Radke? Yeah. Another older woman, 46 years old. She's a former Olympian. Woo! Olympic swimmer. swimmer. <laughs> she's also a sports psychologist and a college professor. Wow. Do you think she's going to tell people right off the bat that she was an Olympian, or is she going to keep that under wraps? I think she's going to keep that on. I mean, she would probably tell her tribe, but she won't let it get out well, that she was an Olympian. Well, if you tell your tribe, women, everybody's going to know. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, she's also a mom. She's into that whole, like, Gandhi, be the change, Love you know. That. I do, too. She said she's most like Denise. Who's Denise? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, she is super, super intense. She's like, ah, 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 and she's walking around with her freaking tie dye yeah. dress on, which I want. But anyway, she is a lot. And I think it's going to get on people's nerves, unfortunately. She, she's going to need to tone that down. I don't know if she's going to be around for very long. You know what? She should spend a lot of time meditating, which she likes to do. And uh, she wants to be challenged, I guess, you know. Mm -hmm. She's all gung ho on, like, just going for it. So. I just feel like a lot of people on this tribe are really big personalities, except for maybe, um, John. <laughs> yeah. I think he would be like, guys, stop fighting. Yeah. But everybody else would be like, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. So, I don't know. I feel like there could be that some could turmoil be on him. that hero's tribe. That could be good for him, because he'll just let them all fight it out. Yep. All right, so the next tribe, the healers, is the Soko. So We've got Cole Metis. Metters. <laughs> Sorry, I wrote this while I was watching the bios. It's okay. He's 24 years old and he's a therapy guy. Not from just Little any Rock. therapy. It's like wilderness yeah. therapy. That's so cool. He said they could be out there for like 200 days yeah. straight. Yeah. That's wild. So he helps like um, youth. Troubled youth. Youths. Yeah. <laughs> that, yeah, that need some sort of uh, therapy. Guidance. Yeah. Uh, I think that's really cool. He's into rock climbing. He again. lives out of his car. Yeah, that's intense. Damn! That's intense. He gets like a week off at a time and he just like takes off and travels and I think that's cool. I don't know if I could do that, but I totally respect that. Mm -hmm. If he wins, he wants to upgrade to a van. Dude, that's going to be one tricked out van. Because right now he's in a Prius and I guess he's tall and it's like uncomfortable. He's unyielding. Mm -hmm. he, he fancies himself to be a Spencer. There's a lot of Spencer fans here, like I said. He's got some mental fortitude, and I think that really shows. To, I mean, to live in your car, that takes a lot of commitment. Yeah. He's not afraid to, flaunt, to flirt, but he's also dauntless. <gasps> Is he divergent? Thank you for your candor. All right. Oh, man. He's also into rock climbing. I think yeah. that's cool. I think he's going to be very, very physical. Yeah, I think he's going to be definitely a physical competitor. Um, I, 
think he's gonna be good. I don't know. I, I like him good. so far. I think he's got a good balance. Mm -hmm. All right, Desiree, aka Desi Williams, 27. She's a physical therapist from Georgia. Yep. But she's also a professor. She was saying in her bio that she's like not happy with where she is in her life right now. But Maybe then, she just needs a change. I guess. But she was saying like, oh, I love that I'm like the youngest or like I'm so young and I'm a professor or whatever. Oh, okay. Remember? Yeah. She's a, a pageant girl. Woo! She hates lazy. Everybody Who doesn't? this season does. <laughs> yeah. But she was inspired by her grandmother who like lived every day to the fullest. That's mm -hmm. awesome. Has overcome a lot. Mm -hmm. Uh survived like the Great Depression, I guess. Just like your granny. Yeah. Uh <laughs> She wants to bring chapstick with her because who wants cracked lips? But girl, don't you realize chapstick is also good for survival? <laughs> you can use it for stuff. Yeah, you can light fire with that. But anyway, she thinks she's going to be most like Tasha. I could see that. Yeah. She seems pretty smart. I think she'll have a good social game. She also wants to be flirty. Mm -hmm. Do you think she'll flirt with Cole? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> she thinks she's nearly unbeatable. Oh, what? Girl. <laughs> Kiss of death. I mean, I'd love to see her go far, um, but we'll see. I don't know. I, I don't want to play into the stereotype of, like, pageant girl in the woods or whatever, but... Did you feel like a lot of the survivors this season have overestimated themselves? I think a lot of them are not realizing how just how tough it's going to be. Either that or this is, like, the most prepared group ever, which I don't think so. Yeah. All right, Jessica Johnston, 29, from Missouri, a nurse practitioner. Okay. This could come in handy. Yeah. You know, remedies and take, you know, well, the, I've never the really seen anyone do that, though. Like, when somebody got hurt, if anybody yeah. was, like, in the medical field, they never, like, went over and helped. <laughs> it's like when you get bit on the wiener by a snake and they're like, you're going to die. Ew! <laughs> I didn't mean it like that. All right. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> she's tenacious, but is she tenacious D? I don't know. She's a hard worker. She created the brand, the health brand, Belovist. Or is it Belovist? I want to say it's Belovist, but I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, but her parents were her inspiration. I'm sure they uh, instilled a good work ethic into her. Well, she said like education and stuff. Yeah. Oh, this girl. Okay, this was the one when they were like, what are you most proud of or whatever? Mm -hmm. or something like that and she was talking about her career right and I thought she was gonna say like oh I get to help people and blah 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 and she was just like I'm just so proud of my degree <laughs> yeah didn't she get it like really quickly or something she got her yeah. doctorate before she was like 27 or something, something like, like that or like five years I don't know yeah something like that Girl, what kind of a health practitioner are you if you love baby powder? Don't you know that's going to give you cancer if you breathe it in? She was Ugh. like, I put baby powder everywhere. It makes my hair look great. And I, No, don't breathe it in. <laughs> <laughs> uh, when they have the baby powder fights on Big Brother, stop, cringe. Stop, stop, stop. That smell. No. Oh. Okay, so... She's a type A personality. Mm -hmm. She thinks she's going to be the miscongeniality of Survivor. I think uh, Desiree... Desiree's going to have, have something to say yeah. about that, okay? This one, also, she talks a lot. And she has no filter. You she, might want to get that filter installed before the show starts. <laughs> Jesus is also on her side. Which tells me she is probably going to be ruthless. It seems like every time they have someone on here who's like outwardly religious. They are the worst. They come to play. They are ruthless. They will But I totally you. respect that because. Yeah. Why should your religion matter in this game? You know what I mean? Like. Well, they mentioned it. I mean, they didn't have to mention it. No, I know. I'm just saying like when people are saying, oh, she's Christian or whatever. She's so religious, but she's doing They're this. They're coming for your edges. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Joe Mina, 34, probation officer from New York slash Connecticut. I like this guy. He's a dad. He hates fake. He don't want to hear excuses. He fancies himself like Tony slash Mike Holloway mm -hmm. slash Jeremy. I, I totally see, that. see the Tony connection here for sure. I can see the Jeremy. Maybe not yeah, so much the Mike. But I think it's like an overwhelming 
Tony. He wants the money. He wants to win. Mm -hmm. He can relate to everyone about everything. I mean, that's the he nature of his job. comes into contact with all different kinds of people. And like Tony, he's got all this experience mm -hmm. in, like, law enforcement. So... Well, you know what he didn't have experience in? Freaking swimming. Until yeah. he was cast on the show. And then he took some Damn! private lessons. And now it's not a problem. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah, I don't know. After not eating and stuff... For days. I forgot my lessons. I'm swimming. It'll be interesting to see how he does. But, like I was saying, he's got all this experience with people who are really good at lying and manipulating people. So he knows what to look for. And he knows how to give it back to them. So I he's think he's going to be manipulator. good. manipulator. I'm sure he's <laughs> really good at reading people. Absolutely. He doesn't trust easily. And I like him. The thing here, though. Okay, so he's got all these skills. He's got to make sure he's not going to be a big target. Right. Because if people find out what he does and that he's really good at reading everybody, they're, they're going to be like, rid of him. he's got to go. Yeah. Next up, we've got Mike Zal Zahalski. Zahalski. <laughs> 43 from Florida. He's a urologist. Woo! He seems like such a little nerd. I know. I want, I, <laughs> you know, I'm really wanting to root for him so bad. I'm probably going to end up loving him, but I I'm think not there he's going to be really entertaining. Um, yeah. But I don't know if he has the skills that he thinks he has. Well, he's, his hobby is archery. That's pretty cool. <laughs> it is cool, but... Maybe um, he can fashion himself a bow and arrow. Maybe. He hates double dippers because he's a germaphobe. That's fine. I'm cool with that. There's going to be a lot of germs out there, man. Yeah. I hope you're ready. He's married with kids. He... What if he showed up in a freaking, like, plastic... Bumble, Bumble suit. I mean, would you be allowed to do that? No. Or would they say no? I don't think they'd agree to that. I don't know. He thinks he's a lot like Boston Rob. I would say, I think your shoes are a little small to fit into Boston Rob's shoes. Okay. <laughs> That's an interesting way of putting it. Yeah. I don't see the Boston Rob thing here. He thinks he's going to have this incredible social game. And I want to see him do well. Because he seems like a really nice person. I kind of think person. he's like David from last year. I would see him more as like a David, yeah. yeah. Was that last season or the season before? Might have been two seasons yeah, ago, Yeah, I can't right? remember now. Yeah. But yeah, I totally see the David connection. Um, Boston Rob was just so like charming and like... Yeah, he was a real <laughs> puppet master. He was. Um, he named his kid after Ethan. <gasps> you can tell he's a total super he's, fan. He is a super fan. He is a super fan. His wife's hall pass is for Ethan. And he was like, oh, man, I hope that he's not the real father of my child because... He lived, like, a couple blocks away from him when he lived in New York. see him all the time. I don't like the whole hall pass <laughs> thing. That's kind of creepy. It is really weird. I um, don't know why people do that, but whatever. I'm not judging. He definitely is the least fit guy here. Yeah. He's going to have to rely on that social game because people are going to be like, what are you doing challenge-wise? I like that he tells his kids to follow your dreams because nice. when she left for college, I gave her a sign to put above her bed that said, follow, <laughs> follow your, your dreams. dreams. <laughs> <laughs> what if that fell on my head while I was sleeping? Maybe that would have knocked some sense into you. Maybe. All right. Last member of this tribe is Rourke Luskin, mm -hmm. 27, social worker slash student from California. I like this girl. I think she's yeah. going to be cool. I think she's going to be fun to watch. I think she's really witty. Mm-hmm. She's a fan of The Bachelor. She likes posting on her social media. Mm -hmm. She's sarcastic. She's smart. She I hope that mouth doesn't get her in trouble, though. Yeah. <laughs> she does something cool. She took a photo a day for life. That's really cool. I like that. I wish I, wish I, had I did that. Like that. <laughs> it's too late now. However, her inspiration is Blue Ivy Carter. I mean, what is she like? Four She's years just old? a baby. I know, right? <laughs> Pick someone older. She thinks she's like Sophie Clark and Courtney Yates. Okay, I know Courtney Yates, but I don't remember Sophie Clark, Sophie Clark so was a winner. much. Yeah, well, I guess she wants to be a winner. Yeah, who wouldn't? She's what do you think this is, Big Brother? Oh! Okay. She's competitive. She doesn't think bossy is a bad word. She thinks Here that's a good word. Here is where she goes wrong. She's talking about how she's one of those people that corrects everyone else. Mm. Ooh, I used to be one of those people, and then yes. I read that book um, by... How to Win Friends. And... Yeah, and Influence People. 
<laughs> People don't like being corrected like that. You shouldn't do that, and it's rude. So hopefully she's gonna work on this during this show. Social game zero. Zero percent chance of winning. No, I don't think so. She's going with the boil a frog gameplay strategy. I think that's a really good idea. You don't want to be too bold in in everybody's faces, but is she gonna be able to follow through on that? We'll see. I don't know. All right, we're at the final tribe. The Woo! Hustlers! That's us! Yay! I feel like I'm home right now. All right. That's the Yawa tribe. Okay. <laughs> or Yo Yawa. Well, I don't know. I, I, it takes me like a whole season to find out how to pronounce the names, and then it's time to switch tribes, and yeah. I have no idea what they're called. All right, so we got Alexandria Ali Elliot. Mm hmm Allie's her nickname. Yeah. She's 24. This is a cool, cool job. She's well, a first, celebrity assistant. We for saw that Blozo. she was a <laughs> We saw that she was a celebrity assistant. We were like, oh my god, who do you think it is? And then when she said Glozel, we were like, What? That's pretty cool. Yeah. I'm surprised she wasn't sporting the green lipstick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, why not, right? She hates traffic. That sucks. You live in California. In LA. Ugh. Again, she loves posting photos. Uh-oh, Jesus is her inspiration. Did you notice that both of the people that said that they were like Andrea Belke are the ones that also mentioned Jesus? Yeah. <laughs> Jesus is going to be coming for everybody's edges. She would want to bring a mirror. I, I'm i thinking her and Padge Girl might be getting along because they're just They're not like, in the same tribe, though. It's going to be a while, Well, maybe. if they make the merge... Will they get along or will they clash? They might clash. I don't know. They might clash. But she made a good point. You know, you could also use a mirror to start a fire. <laughs> you could. I don't think so. Why? You need a magnifying glass to start a mirror. I, you could I mean, use a, a mirror. fire. Not. I don't think a mirror would I work. I thought a mirror would work. Mm. All right. Um, she's very competitive. And she will lie, blah, 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 whatever. Uh <laughs> She seems really like chill and laid back, which I think is good because there's gonna be so many obnoxious people. I think she's gonna be annoying. Like why? She breaks a nail, or she just I don't seems think like so. really high maintenance. Mm, I don't know. Uh, she's, she says I'm not gonna do too much because people who do a lot end up going home. That's like what I just know, said. She's, she's very laid back. Radar. I think that's a good idea. Why do anything crazy before the merge? Yeah. But I think maybe also, too, she means in terms of, like, work. <laughs> don't do too much work. I don't know about that. People think you're, like, a real go-getter. You gotta type. keep a low profile, but still contribute around camp. Yeah. it's it's Everything is balanced in this game. All right. Devon or Devin? I think it's Devin. <laughs> Devon <laughs> Pinto, 23, surfer. Also from California. Yeah, there's a lot of Californians. There's a couple Californians. He hates selfish complainers. Welcome to Survivor. <laughs> that seems to be the, se the theme this season. It's not heroes versus healers versus hustlers. It's people who hate complainers. <laughs> and people who are <laughs> proud of their own accomplishments. That seems to be a theme as well. Well, yeah. Sh you should be proud of your accomplishments, of course. He's got a good sense of family. He was inspired by his parents who married young. They were 22. They weren't that young because... Me and your father. <laughs> oh, thank you. I never knew. <laughs> Married very young. Okay, that's still young, though. Okay. Don't be a raven. That young. Don't be a raven. Are you shitting my... No, I'm not. So, he's, <laughs> he's wishing that he had his guitar, because he's that guy who goes Kumbaya. to the, the campfire, and he's like, hey, guys, brought my guitar. Burr, 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 burr. <laughs> yeah. Um, he thinks he's like Ozzy slash Malcolm. I can give him that. Yeah, he's he seems like like totally physical, likable. He's like a slow talker, like a Matthew McConaughey almost. Yeah, I I mean I could see where he's like a lovable guy. Like I could sit there and listen to somebody like that talk, like, just because it seems like, like it pulls fun you to hang in. out. Yeah, with, you know he's got a lot of stories. Probably, I really like his uh, dream to start an after school program yeah, for that's kids cool. and like uh, mentor them. He was talking about how he's going to make everyone love him so much that they're, like, giving him hugs as he votes them out. And it just reminded me of that Michael Scott quote. <laughs> I want them to be afraid of how much they love me. I think, yeah, I think he'll do That's pretty Devin. well. That's <laughs> Devin. He's got a great uh, social game. 
we'll find out. All right, Lauren Rimmer, 35, a fisher woman. Yeah. North Carolina. Get it, girl. That's this is right. one of our favorites so far. Yeah, she's in a man's field, mm -hmm. and uh, she's killing it. Yeah. Again, hates lazy, unorganized people. She is on a boat, and she needs to be organized because it could be a life or death situation. Right. So I feel like is... she she could be kicking asses around camp. Yeah. She's gonna get pissed if people are not pulling their weight. Yeah. I like that she said, you know, I'm not petite. <laughs> She's a real woman. A real um, woman gets the job done. You can be petite and be a real woman. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just putting that out there, That's okay? True. That's true. I don't know what I was thinking. I mean... I know what you mean, but not it's, the it's just the way that it yeah. sounded. Okay. We're just clearing that up. Yeah. She's a single mom. She's a real ass kicker, I think. I think I, so, too. I think she's going to be a force to be reckoned with mm -hmm. if she can lay low. She's, I'm just worried that she's going to, like, freak out on somebody at camp. Yeah. I she, can see it happening. She's original. She's like no one before her. Mm -hmm. um, I like when people answer like that, when they're like, which oh, uh, survivor do you think you're most similar to? I like when they're like, um, no one. <laughs> I'm yeah. myself. No one. People in the future are going to be saying that they're like her. She's going to be one of the new, you know, yeah. ones. She wants to test herself because her life is, like, pretty stressful and, you know, a lot. <laughs> so, she wants to see what it's like on Survivor, if, you know, because she's, like, living the real-life Survivor. Yeah. In the real world. I have no doubt that she's going to do really well with, like, the survival aspects of it. Again, I'm just worried about the social parts. Like, I don't know. She's probably used to being alone or with, like, few yeah. people. A lot of the time. So. She also said she was hard-headed and set in her ways. Yeah. That's not good. <laughs> uh, but I, I do know. like her. I don't know. She's going to be around for very long with Maybe this group. Maybe she can transform herself. If you look at it too, this tribe is very young compared to the other ones. She's the oldest one. Everybody else is in their 20s. Yeah. Mid to low 20s. So I think she's going to have a hard time connecting with the rest of them. She's not the oldest in terms of the entire no, show. No, but, but this, this tribe, tribe. If she can make it to a tribe swap... She'll be okay, possibly, but... I just did a scan here. She's the only old one on this tribe. That's what I just said. Yeah. I wasn't listening. I know. Because I was... You're thinking. out. You're voted out. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Patrick Bolton, 25. He's a small business owner. He started this moving business, I guess, in, like, high school or... I thought it was, like, college. I don't know. He Sophomore year of one of them. <laughs> he lives in Alabama, and he started up a moving company, and... You better pay me my money. His pet peeve is when people don't pay him back on time. Yeah. He's persistent. I mean, you gotta be if you have your own business. You gotta be out there hustling. There haven't been many redheads on Survivor before. No. <laughs> Isn't that so weird? Yeah. If you think about it, there really there just haven't been. Another one inspired by his dad, who he says was a great guy. Mm-hmm. He's most like Joe. There will never be another Joe Englum. No. Nope. Never. He can do it all. He once had a pet rattlesnake. What the Why would you F do that? <sighs> no! <laughs> Another one with a sensitive skin, though. It looked like he had quite a burn. Did they, did they not give them sunscreen? I, I'm thinking they don't. I feel like they film them all day, like, for these interviews, these pre-show interviews. I'm sure interviews, it takes like, a while outside. to get everything, yeah, all the promotional stuff. And they're not thinking, like, oh, man, I'm burning like a piece of bacon out here. He also said, prepared. trust no one, and that is going to take him far in the game. Don't be too trusting in this game, but trust enough. I mean, it's one thing to say that, but is he actually going to do that? Because, I don't know, maybe he's a little bit naive? I don't know. You think he's a little naive? I mean, maybe. Mm, maybe. Possibly. All right. Well, up next is Ryan Ulrich, and he is everything. He is my favorite! Ultimate favorite going into this season. Ultimate Grand Supreme. 23-year-old bellhop from New Jersey. He was also a Little League umpire. He had a lot of interesting jobs. He was an yeah. intern for both houses of Congress. Yeah. He wants to go to law school, and yeah. I hope that that can happen for him one day. He's not very athletic. He seems like a David type. David slash, you said Cochran? Yeah. Yeah. I could see him as, yeah, like a David Cochran. Mm-hmm. Um, 
he's his inspiration is Eli Manning, or as we like to call him, Ellie Manning. Seems like he really likes football. <laughs> Well, I think he means too because Ellie Manning. He is never like, missed a game. <laughs> I mean, Eli. <laughs> I just we, we just always say that call all him the time. Ellie Manning. <laughs> He's very laid back, but he could get in there when he needs to get the job done. Yeah. Well, he was also talking about his connection with his father, mm -hmm. which was so sweet. It was sweet. And how he already planned for his father to be the loved one to visit. I hope makes it that far. I know. And um, how their relationship, this would be great for their relationship, yeah. and it's something that they've always wanted. So I love it's, that. Oh my god, I love it. He said he's most like Todd Herzog. <sighs> we'll see. Yeah. <laughs> that would be entertaining for sure. Yeah. That also some big shoes to fill. Yeah. Uh, super fan since the age of six. I like that. I'm here for it. I love he, it. He can get along with everybody. And he's going to be the first freaking blazing red turtleneck on the show. Yeah! I like that. That is amazing. You know what? If he's wearing that turtleneck, the chances of him burning are way lower. Yeah. So good thinking. He, uh, I love this part, too. He also said he also had a speech impediment. And he got it taken care of by going through all the speech therapy. Mm -hmm. Because he wanted to be well-spoken. Yeah. And I think that's very important in life. Because what you project is what, you know, the only thing that people take away from you. So, he just wants to be the best that he can be. And mm -hmm. I, I... I think he came a really long way because he think sounded he's great. Really long, yeah, he's come a long way. I am ready to root for him. Please, please be on for a long time. Yes. Please. Last but not least... Oh boy, here's our villain, guys. Here's one of our villains. Simone, I guess it's New Nguyen. Win? New. We never know how to say that last name. I'm sorry. so sorry. But she's 25 years old. She's from New York City. She's a diversity advocate. She is a complainer. <gasps> Guys, everybody else, almost everybody else was like, my pet peeve is whiners and complainers and lazy people. <laughs> she's a complainer, a self-professed complainer. Well, she also hates people who aren't self-aware. At least she knows who she is. You know what I mean? Yeah. But I just feel like she is definitely going to clash with all these other people. She was inspired by her lawyer friend. <laughs> I guess to be tough and overcome. And Yeah. Well, I mean, she didn't really get into what her friend went through. But she said that she overcame a lot. So. Well, you know what? She's hustling in the greatest city in the world. New York City. So she's got to have something. Yeah. Right? If you, can't, if you can make it in New York, you can make it anywhere. Can you make it on Survivor? We'll find out. How many times in this video have I said we'll find out? <laughs> yeah. Ah! She would bring chapstick. It's very important. Uh, she says she would be like a Thai Michaela. I don't see how you could be a Thai and a Michaela. Because I feel like they're very different. Polar opposites. They're very different. I see her being a Michaela for sure. I don't really see the Thai connection there. She believes in constructive confrontation. You know she's going to be yelling at people. <laughs> and using she is going to yell. As a weapon. I think she's going to be burning a lot of bridges. She's like, I'm going to find people's weaknesses and vulnerabilities and use them against them. I have a feeling she's going to be a really sore loser like that girl who dumped out the rice in the beginning. Well, she did say that she is going to poison the water and just try to like mix things up, make people paranoid, mess with them. Fracture small groups. Yeah, she's going to be actively trying to mess with people. And then my favorite line, smile until you kill them. What? <laughs> <laughs> I hope that this girl's around for a while just because we need that yeah. villain person on the show. Will she be going to villain con at the end? Yes. Okay. <laughs> so this is quite a diverse, but yet very similar except for her group of survivors. Well, she's the only real standout villain right now. Mm -hmm. I'm sure other people will, will emerge. Yeah. Um, but going into it, oh, she's going to be trouble. Let us know who your favorites are, you guys. It's a lot to take in. It is a lot to take in. I feel in. like my opinions will change drastically after even just the first episode. Yeah, because I mean, this is just what they're telling us. We don't know how they're going to react when they're, because they have never been on the show. Yeah. They they could go in with one mindset and then come out like totally opposite, mm -hmm. which is great because I think that's how you survive on this type of a show because you have to be flexible and you have to roll with the punches. Right. 
if you go in all rigid, you're going to be the first one out. All right. Well, let us know in the comments who you're rooting for. We will see you next week for the premiere. And until next time, much, much love. love.